Hi, this is going to be a lecture on VPC service control. So what is a service control? So if you create a service control in VCP, what you can do is you can create a perimeter and within that perimeter, whatever resource is there is protected explicitly and it is a construct which is completely different from the IAM or should I say independent of IAM. So let's see how it looks like diagrammatically. So let's assume that I have a project with a virtual machine and a cloud storage bucket. I'm able to access this cloud storage both using the virtual machine as well as the internet. So the first thing I need to do is I need to create a per perimeter. And once I create the perimeter, I cannot access that particular cloud bucket anymore from the internet. And if I need to access it from the virtual machine, what I need to create is another DNS with a restricted domain called the restricted.googleapis.com and that API googleapis.com should be pointing to a set of virtual IP address. Let's see how it works in the demo. So I'm in my cloud console. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a perimeter. To do that you can go to your security and in the security there's the VPC service controls. So let me create a perimeter. So this you have to remember is an organizational thing. So you can't do it at a specific project level. So you have to have an organization enabled to access this VPC service controls. So once you've logged in, once you have accessed VPC controls, the first thing you need to do is give a name. So let me just give this perimeter zone. And the second thing you need to do is you need to Okay, well, I've already created it, so. Let me just go edit this once. So edit perimeter. So second thing you need to do is you need to define the project for which this perimeter works. So I will define it for the host project. Before I restrict restrict the uh, cloud bucket, or I mean the cloud storage APIs. I'll just show you that I have an existing cloud storage API. I mean a cloud storage bucket within that same project, the host project. And if I try to access this URL, it works for me. So I'm able to access this URL. So after I have put the perimeter on for restricting this particular endpoint, I shouldn't be able to access this endpoint anymore. So go back to that page again. So in the restricted services, I'll just restrict the cloud storage APIs. And that's about it. Let me just save this. So if I try to access that same URL again, it should keep through an error. So as you can see that I'm not able to access this URL anymore. So the only way I can access it is through a restricted a DNS called the restricted.googleapis.com and that has to be pointing to a certain set of virtual IP address. So let me just create that DNS. To create that, you can go to your cloud DNS and you can create a zone. And this zone has to be pointing to So let me just name this zone, let me just call this private zone. And this has to be pointing to the googleapis.com. And it's a private, so let me just click on private. And let me just create this zone. So once the zone is created, we need to, okay, so I need to, add this particular zone to a particular network. So let, let me just edit that. So it should belong to the master VPC, the same project. I mean, uh, the same VPC within this particular project. So there is just currently one VPC loss, so it should be part of that. So the second thing I do is I need to create a record set. So I'll create the record set though. This has to be 
call the restricted dot google apis dot com it is an a record set and it has to point to a set of ip address so these are the ip address that it has to point to so let me just quickly add these ip addresses create so once I've created the restricted.googleapis.com, the second thing I do is I need to add another record set. And this record set would just be a star.googleapis.com. And this is basically a C name that will be pointing to the previous record set that I created. So I have created my two record sets. So let me create a virtual machine in this particular virtual, in this particular network, the master VPC. And let me see if I'm able to access that cloud bucket using these DNS names. So I'll go to my compute engine virtual instance. So let me select my host project. So I already have an instance which is within the master VPC. So let me just try to SSH into it. So let me just copy this URL. So this is basically the URL which is basically called the restricted.googleaps.com and those particular virtual IP addresses. So let me just copy this. And if I paste it, I should be able to Okay, I'll do a curl. As you can see that I'm able to access that same bucket using my virtual machine and it doesn't have any external IP address. That wouldn't matter because even if you were to access it using the external IP address, it would still fail because of the policies. So that's how this thing works. That's how the perimeter and the access control works. I hope this was.